hello guys welcome back to another calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we'll design a strip footing so i'll just open another calc okay now instead of like creating a new project i'll just go to calc and I'll select wall footing and now first thing I would like to check my F dash C compressive strength of concrete F dash C 3000 psi nothing but I'll keep it like that my uh, yield strength of rebar will be 60 ksi modulus of elasticity for concrete will be 3122 ksi and there are these other factors that will remain constant and coming to my minimum steel ratio it will be 0 0.0018 I would also like to include the footing weight as dead load yes and these are overturning safety factors you can change them next going to soil allowables so most of this data in here comes from a geotechnical report so let's say uh, the soil bearing pressure is 6 ksf and um, this will remain constant even the soil friction uh, you can change them if you want like soil pads or sliding resistance you can increase them decrease it even the co co friction coefficient so next i'll apply loads and then i will go to footing and reinforcement so first let me go to loads let me say some 25 caves live will be 50 just i'm just applying some random loads just to show you that the structure is failing for now so as you can see design is not good so what i'll do is i'll go to footing and reinforcing and in footing width i have is 2.5 feet so let me go ahead and make it as 4 feet so the width of the footing nothing but from here to this end will be 4 feet and this shaded portion is my wall which will be nothing but 6 inches thick I can make it 3 inches whatever I want like I mean it depends on the drawings you get like if you have a 6 inch wall then yeah you put it 6 inch if you have a 3 inch wall then you go for a 3 inch 8 inch 10 inch it varies and this is wall center offset from the footing center line so if you have a wall at an offset then you just enter that offset uh, distance but right now I'm going to keep it in center and the footing thickness is 12 inches let it be like that next thing I'll do is I'll go to reinforcing so if you see reinforcing bar size provided is number 3 let, let us before going to that let us go to sketch over here and check this so if you see this is four feet nothing but our um, nothing but our width of the footing and uh, as you know this is six inches nothing but width of our wall so right now it is in center but i can offset it if if possible like so by one inch and there you go 2 feet 1 inch on this side and 1 feet 9 inch on the other side that we can offset I'll keep it 0 for now and the next thing I'll be looking at is this drawing so it has this wall sitting on a footing with number 3 bars at 12 inches in so this is nothing but xx section looking to z so I'll cut, cut over right over here so you can see these bars are nothing but number 3 bars at 12 inches spacing let me just go to reinforcing and let me make calculations over here and let me change the bar size to number 5 so it's still showing not good and for some reason these values are not coming up let me just go to 
applied loads equipment as zero instead sorry about that Okay, so let me say this is 20 and as you can see that we are failing over here, what I'll do is, let me just also apply some moment minus 10 keep fit and over here 10 keep fit. I can even apply shear anyways uh, so now that I have this value I'll just go to putting and reinforcing and I have number 5 in there right now which I can change it to number 8 and let's see so this is passing we can increase the thickness of the foot okay so as you see the loads applied were really really high let me just go and reduce them so that I can show you So right now you can see uh, it's just failing in applied load. So the basic thing is you need to remember is like if it is saying one way shear then it would mean that there's something wrong with the thickness. Let's see if it is. So it's good in one way shear but it's failing in flexor in positive x and negative x direction nothing but uh, the area of steel provided is less than the minimum required so i just need to increase the amount of steel so that way there you go now in order to get this let's see what we can do if i increase this to 15 there is no change in there let me go to the dimensions and increase it to let's say 5 feet there you go and let's make it 6 feet so as you see right now it's passing in bearing but failing again in uh, oh this will be 10 inches this is nothing but uh, bar spacing I thought I was changing the footing thickness okay so let us make the footing width as 4 feet and try to change the footing thickness instead I'll have it as 4 feet and I'll increase this 
to let's say 15 inches okay so you see the value might be reducing but it's not no it's not reducing actually so let's keep it 12 inches and increase the footing width so as you can see it's passing right now but failing in one way here let us go and increase the thickness and now you can see that so one way shear in both the directions has to do with the footing thickness whereas the soil bearing has to do with, with the width of the footing whereas the flexures in both the directions you need to take care of reinforcement so that is how we need to do the footing in this case so strip footing like the different criteria, like soil bearing depends on the width of the footing and the shear depends on the thickness of the footing and the flexure depends on the reinforcing so just keep changing until it passes make sure you apply the correct loads and in order to like view the results you have soil pressures for different load conditions overturning and sliding ability stability and then you have footing bending results finally footing shear So that is how we do uh, strip footing in an air calc. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you for watching the video, guys.